My name is Corey Gulkin, and I am a singer-songwriter from Montreal. Um, at the suggestion of my friend Ali Levy, who uh, played bass on my latest album and also did the album artwork, um, she suggested that I check out, or that everyone check out, um, this song by Buffy St. Marie called God is Alive, Magic is Afoot. And for the last couple of days, I've just been listening to that, the album that that's from called Illuminations on repeat. It is such a strange album. It's really all, all over the place. They're like, it's very effecty um, and not at all like the stuff of hers that I'm used to, which is like um, just very folky, but it still has her like hardcore Buffy St. Marie vibe. Um, but yeah, I think she kind of has like some stuff that's like the band and other things that are really wild and all over the place. Um, and I, yeah, I can't stop listening to that record right now. This is gonna sound really cheesy because <laughs> Sam is right here, um, but uh, Ohm House, who is a local band here in Toronto, um, is probably one of my favorite bands and they just released a record. Um, my bandmate Sam also plays in that band, so full disclosure, but I highly recommend everybody check out their album, Eye to Eye. Um, I guess this one is tangentially musically related. Um, but again, Ali Levy, who also goes by Fleur de Ri, who's an amazing artist, who did the cover art for my album. The cover art, um, she actually painted this enormous painting uh, for the cover, and uh, last week she surprise gifted the painting to me. So it's now hanging up in my studio room at home, and it's, I think, maybe the most inspiring object I've ever owned. I definitely wish I could have been a part of Weezer in that, like, in their early stages Blue Album Pinkerton era. Um, they hold a pretty special place in my heart, and now that I'm learning the bass, I would have fit in perfectly. Um, so when I was maybe, I think I was maybe five years old, my mother, like the good feminist she is took me to see this film that was all about uh women doing like in different careers and it profiled i don't know like maybe four or five different women i think there was like a surgeon and there was a rock climber and a dancer and a pianist um and after the film she asked me so of all those jobs which one would you want and i said i think i'd like to be a rock climber and she said, how about we get you some piano lessons? So <laughs> that probably had something to do with it. <laughs> this is also going to sound really cheesy, but I love the people that I already play with. Uh, Sam Gleason, who plays guitar, and Leia Dalgoy, who plays harp. They're kind of my dream team already. Um, and I can't really imagine playing in this band in any other formation, to be honest. Unless maybe Prince came back from the dead. I haven't owned a band t-shirt in a really long time, but I think maybe it's because I owned this Neutral Milk Hotel t-shirt that I loved, and I was devastated when I lost it, and I never owned a band t-shirt ever again. <laughs> Um, it's a funny question because I feel like most musicians do many things that aren't just playing music and I think right now, like, music is not my full-time gig, um, and so I'm already doing things, and so I guess maybe I'd just be doing the other things that I'm doing full-time if I weren't also doing music in a serious-ish way, um, but I have a master's in social work. Um, and I currently work in communications for a small community organization downtown, so probably I'd be doing more of that. Sometimes I just wish I were John Bryan. Like, I think he has scored, has done some of my favorite scores. So maybe, like, if I could... Oh, this is gonna get morbid, but if I could, like, kill him and replace him somehow... <laughs> 
maybe I would do the soundtrack to Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind. Don't worry, John Bryan, I'm not coming to kill you. It's too late anyway. <laughs> Uh, we just played a beautiful gig at Sala Rosa in Montreal, um, and I think right now that might be my favorite venue. It's been around for a long time, but the sound is always good. It just has a, such a nice, warm feeling to it. Um, I love that venue. I mean personal experience is probably the strongest non-musical influence that affects my music. I write in, from a very personal place, um, usually, and so just, yeah, being able to um, access my own feelings and, um, yeah, experiences is hugely influential. I mean, I think my favorite songs are of mine are always the ones that I've most recently written or released. Um, so pretty much anything off of this new record. Um, and there's, yeah, I mean, this new album for me has been a, kind of a pretty intense personal journey. Um, and so let's just say the title track, All the Things I'll Forget. Um... NASA put out these recordings, I think it must have been a couple years ago, uh, of what the planets sound like. So I think that probably has something to do with it, and you can download them for free.